Hello everyone and welcome back to the British Empire, Europa Universalis 4. Now, it's been a little while, well I say that, it's been a few days since the last video. Uh, I tend to binge record a few in one go and then uh, upload them gradually and then come back to it, you know, just so I don't kind of burn myself out on a series. Uh, seems to be working though, seems to be working, but uh, immediately we have new military technology. So that's good, because the French scare me. <laughs> they are, yeah, I don't really want to mess with them, and uh, we do still kind of have some land I think the French would very much like over here. So, uh, actually, we can have a look. Do the French want it? Yeah, they do, actually. They, oh, yeah, they, they do actually want that land. Um, well, I'm sorry, France, but you can't have it. So, uh, immediately, we're going to go to uh, a debate in Parliament. Uh, that could be nice, because... Yeah, we're going to go for that, actually. Just because I think that is the best option at the moment. Uh, bribe an MP, short. Looming disaster. Oh, no. Oh, dear. <laughs> English Civil War is ticking up. <laughs> Ew. 10 points of fervor, that's nothing for me. So, I think I've saved the country. Uh, I'm not going to get that idea as much as I want to. As much as that would be nice. That's that's not the, it's not the time. So, uh, oh, colonies as well. I completely forgot I was colonizing Florida. But uh, this is mine now. Ah, I remember what I was doing. Colonial navies and colonial armies. So, uh, I can get ready to... Oh, hello, Portuguese Mexico. What happens to you? It's a colony of Portugal. Portugal and Castile. How have we got on Castile there? Is that just an ally of the Portuguese? Yes, it is. Now that's interesting. So we can take on Castile, but if we declare war on him directly, everyone else gets called in. If we abuse his alliance with the Portuguese, that's a lot of money, France. If we abuse his alliance with the Portuguese, we get both with one stone. And I think that's something I very much want to do got to be quality ideas. That needs to be higher. Uh, no, you can't marry a lowborn because we've already got low legitimacy. <laughs> that is that is a beautiful sight. Oh, go on, go on, Mexico, go ham, go ham on the natives, Mexico. Kind of egging him on a bit, like go on, do it. Um, one thing I need to do. One thing I definitely need to do. That. That is important. Because as it turns out, I took that away episodes ago, and I never put it back in. So of course all our relationships with our colonies is uh, eating shit, and I'm sitting here like, yeah, this is fine. We're going to upgrade the boats, because we've got to keep our army and our navy in tip-top condition. Uh, we got some more gold off the Mexicans. We're just going to have another quick look at manufactories. No, nothing really hyper profitable. Oh, that was a misclick. <laughs> I misclicked there. That's profitable though. We'll take that. And um, just kind of weighing it up. Do I do I need it? Do I want it? I don't know. I don't know if I absolutely 100% need it. What's on the... That's nice. Shipyards. Um, don't really need any more navy men. Well, we'll keep going for a while. Because I can build more fleets and mothball them. So, uh, we'll get another colonial navy. In Sligo. Because I do like my colonial navies. And I'm going to have the strongest navy in the world. But before we do that... I'm going to get some new advisors. Because we like monarch points a lot. 
Oh, hello. Um, okay, this is easily taken care of. They're not going to get there in time, though. Okay, natives are attacking everything. Come on then, let's have it. Oh Christ, my army did not fare that well there. Probably because we're doing a naval landing, but hey. We kept control. We kept control, and that is the main thing. So, get back on the boats. We're coming back. So this is good. We're in a good position, good strong position. Now I'm kind of... I'm eyeing up. Hello. Hello. This has got to turn into Florida very quickly, or, or the 13 colonies, actually. That's nice. Ooh, 666. The devil's number. So, if we go to war, I would like to take Florida. Well, actually, that's a lot of his army over here, actually. I think that's his entire army. Let's just have a quick look. 57,000 men he's got. That's got to be his entire army. Or just about his entire army, actually. That is certainly interesting. So if we bum rush his capital... And basically come over here and do whatever... We could bum rush both their caps right now, actually. How many men does Portugal have? That's the deciding factor here. Portugal. 36,000. And not all of that is going to be sitting in his capital. And he's on low manpower because he's fighting the Inca. I think we do it. I think we're going for this. I actually think. Let's do it. Let's actually do it. Right. A bit painful that not all these fleets are tip top, but we'll take it, we'll take it. Right, get over here, we're going in. Okay, uh, tell me I'm building more. Yeah, more transports are building, so we're going to be able to take 15,000 men from that. All of these guys are going because of our main transport navy. Um, Canada, son, what are you doing? He's declared war on Vinland. <laughs> Why? Why? Okay. Um. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to send that back. Otherwise, we're just going to lose even more of uh, Canada. Canada, you are tearing me apart. You're wasting my time. France, stop paying foreign debt, please. Uh, we want cheaper Diplotech. I can't even join... I'm not even part of this war. Really? So I can't even step in and do anything. Okay, well then, uh, he's on his own then. Okay, bye. I'm coming over here. Uh, colonist rush. Hooray. Now, uh... I am aware, somewhat... That's gonna be nice. Infantry combat ability up, considering most of the army's infantry. So we out-tech the Portuguese at the moment. Because we're 18 mil-tech. The only thing I am slightly worried about is these boys here. And of course Canada. Because Canada doesn't have a strong enough army to fight off the legions of Castilians. Mexico, Colombia and Brazil should be fine. I'm just debating, do I bring these guys back? And I think I do. I think I definitely bring them back over to join in this great endeavour of English cunning and deceit. 
and lies. Because look at that. Great Britain army, second to France and the... Oh my god, the Ottoman army's got nearly two... Nearly a quarter of a million men for the Ottomans. That's, uh... Well, I mean, if you look at how big they are, they're like all the way... Out, they're knocking on India's door. That's, uh, that's not what you want to see the Ottomans doing, if I'm entirely honest. So, get ready to go on the boats. Get ready to go on the boats. Get ready to go on the boats. We're gonna be we're gonna be coming in full force here. So declare war on Portuguese, or just declare war on the Portuguese, one or the other. South America. So I can take. Where the hell is Uka Yevu? Ooh ooh no, that's just changing map modes. Uka Uka Yali. Oh, here. That's... I think that's highlighted the wrong province. So that one is actually mine. When did the Incas get here, though? Have they just swapped? Oh, well. We're going after Portuguese Mexico, or are we? Do they have any other colonies we could possibly declare war on anywhere? That's directly Portugal. Yeah. So both their colonies would join. That's fine. Let's see what we can claim on first before we go. Because if I declare war on a colony... Then that's still fine. Uh, English Columbia. Let's have a look. Hell yes, tax it. Here comes the money! Here comes the money. 50 ducats a month, baby! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we are in the money, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to colonise that. And actually, for now... Or does this cost stability to... I think it does. One stu... No, it's not worth it. I was going to change it to uh, that one, because that there's different approaches to colonising the natives. So you see they're rising up against us here and damaging the colony. Um, that one I was going to change it to stops that happening. However, it does mean that I lose a stability, which I just don't think in the long run is worth it. More British Mexican treasure. I need to send a fleet over there to stop them pirating. And actually, here we go. Boom, bada boom. Okay. Right, where can we claim on? Where is this? Oh, is it not going to zoom me to the provinces? That's nice. Arek, I don't know where this is. Oh, it's so just all this shit down here, basically. Oh, wow, hello, Columbia. You are uh, going ham on the Incans. Nice. Um... I think actually just just Mexico really. Oh, and actually look at that, he's got an acclaim as well. Which one's better? The colonialism one is better. So Castile still has an army up here. Take a sip of the drink. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. Wait, no. What am I doing? That's actually Castile. Right, before we risk it, I would like the Navy in position. Ready and waiting. Breathing heavily down their neck. Onwards, men! <laughs> Onwards, Jonte! <laughs> oh, yes. What a glorious day. There we go. Ships are in position. <laughs> Here we go. This is happening. This is actually happening. Take the morale of armies guy because we want to win even more. Colonialism. I'm going. I'm doing it. This is happening. This could go very badly. But at the moment... Castile's not in. I think if I unpause and play, 
There we go. Now he's in. Now he's in. Florida has already, like, just fucking killed me now. I want to die. That's good. Oh, hello. It would appear the, the Portuguese and Castilian navies have arrived. Bye, guys. So that's, uh, that's an early win for us there. So get there. Get there. Go there. Go there. So this is a stunning lightning move here. I'm going straight in hard. Boom, boom, boom. Get fucked. So what we're going to do now is we're going to instantly breach that fort here. Hopefully. I don't... Okay, there we go. We breached. So... I don't think they saw this coming. I don't think they saw a lightning wave attack. So they're all sitting in the colonies, like, oh my god. And we're here, like, hello! <laughs> we are just landing since the mainlands now. <laughs> That's, of course, not a British accent, but who cares? I've gone a bit silly, because uh, we're winning. Ah, oh, British Mexico's gone ham. That's good. So leave the mainland to us. We're going to win the war over here. And then we're going to go and help out in the colonies. Can you please win that freaking thing now? So we're going to send one of the navies over here. Actually, we're going to send the big fleet over here. We're going to engage in warfare and glorious battle. Right, you twos go over here. But first, I want you to have a leader. Yeah, look, there's just no one here. There's absolutely no one here. Oh, I'm going to keep blockading that. Come on, win the siege. Damn it. Come on, we need to do we need to blitz this. We need to blitzkrieg. We need to we need to do it like Hitler, but in 1633. That's going to be a new That's going to be a new Stop pirating all me gold. Oh, that's Colombia. Colombia has gold now? Okay then. <laughs> I'm not... Co where's the gold, Columbia? Here. There. Which is actually... Uh, that's um, the Incan... Okay, so Colombia's got gold as well. Mexico's got a shitload of gold. Look at that. We're going to get that gold. We're going to piece Castile out separately. And take as much of his uh, territories as we can. Okay. Go there. But first, I would like you to have generals in charge. Okay, so we're off to the capital of Portugal. This has been a stunning move. This is this is the kind of high-risk, high-reward play that, that really makes you feel like you are living. Get out of here. Get out. Yes. Go there, go there. Or actually just go for Aragon. Elizabeth. Native right. Fundy. Not really my problem at the moment. I'll deal with that later. They'll, they'll probably declare separatists. Um, they'll probably declare separatists. No, they are separatists. They will probably declare independence on me. I do not care. I am winning a massive war on my own. Right. Um, okay, construction cost down. I'll take it. Off we go. Breach that wall. This could not be going better right now. This really could not be going better. Oh yes. Oh no. We just lost loads of prestige from France because our cores are no longer there. Supporting the independence of English Brazil. But how? I think that's a bug. I really think that is a bug. Because he's not. Ah, uh, right, go there. I really think that supporting the independence of English Brazil is a bug. 
breach that. Gosh, this lightning war has been stunning. This is... They did not see it coming until the ships were on the shoreline and the declaration of war came in. Oh, I'm so glad I spotted all their armies were off in the colonies. This is... I haven't... I fought like 2,000 people. And that has been it. Right, go on, get his cap. Boom. Boom, boom. Yes! Portugal's cap is about to fall. This has been amazing. Let's just check. Just to check. Let's just check. Let's just click and check in it. No, that is that is not English. Actually, let's just take a quick look at the colonies here. Mexico has won. the The Caribbean has gone to fight the rebel problem and capture. What is that? Castilian Canada. Colombia is still being Colombia. Um, Brazil is being Brazil. We need to come down here and here. That's all British land there. I will go after I finish cleaning up their capital. That is what we're going to do after we capture this. So we've got about half their country now, which is nice. So this is going really well. Although we are now starting to run slightly over time, but you know what? I, I think I think I'm going to continue. There goes the capital. There it goes. We're going to keep going until we secure all their land. Off you go. Come on. Yes. Watch how the mighty fall. This is what happens when you send all your armies away. This is beautiful. This is a beautiful moment. I would take uh, Granada, but uh, it, Mar Gibraltar even. That's not Granada. What the fuck am I talking about? Um, I would take it, but Morocco owns it. He likes me, because I'm uh, shitting on the Spanish. Get dunked on me, son. Oh yeah, here we go. It's the fall of the Spanish Empire. Rest in pepperonis. This is glorious. This is actually amazing. I never imagined it would go this well. Right, go there. It's like they actually outnumber me in men as well, but they're just not at home. They're all like over here. Somewhere. Or maybe down here. Or here. Actually, the natives are taking their chance. <laughs> yes! Oh, it's glorious. I just have to hope the French don't uh, declare war on me. I didn't think that one through. Um, okay, you go there. Boom, ba -dum, ba -dum. Reach the wall. I'll go there, you go to here. So actually, we have nearly won this war already. Well, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we've won the war. I mean, look, they actually want out right now. However, I need to go and secure my tactical objectives. So we're going to go load these men onto the boat, and we are going to send them off. And hope that they do not find anything remotely unexpected. Okay, we're just going to wait, we're going to buddy them up, because we've only got one thing left to do really. Here we go. So I think that is also a good place to end this episode here. So it's going well, it's going well. We're going to keep going in the next one, see what we can do. Uh, I'm, I, think it, I think it's looking pretty good. So uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.